Hello, this is Keith with Venia Coffee. We're going to take a look at E61 Brew Group maintenance today. Tools needed, uh, we need uh, two adjustable wrenches, a 12 inch and a 10 inch, uh, something that will widen out to approximately uh, 36 millimeters um, and uh, 26 millimeters on the smaller side. Um, I recommend uh, taking some time and smoothing off the edges. I, I use the Dremel tool. Uh, to smooth them out so there's no sharp edges whatsoever very smooth so you're not going to accidentally scrape or scratch your, your chrome um, you'll need a, a slotted screwdriver um, needle nose pliers uh, paper towels um, that also uh, if you have a uh, um, VBME machine you will um, need a five millimeter hex wrench and uh, it's a hot day um, recommend pulling a shot and maybe an espresso tonic uh, to get you through. Alright, so to start off we just want to go ahead and remove the drip tray um, and set it aside out of the way. Go ahead and uh, just turn your um, steam and hot water um, valves away so you have some space. Um, take out the porta filter and uh, on the brew level we'll We'll bring it up to the neutral position. In that position, you'll want to go ahead and, and just take this screw off. I recommend a, a paper towel or something um, for each section. You can lay the parts out um, so you don't get confused. So in there, you'll um, there'll be a, a, a star washer. Um, you'll want to go ahead and, and make sure you keep track of that. Um, that keeps it from uh, coming undone. So we're going to replace the gaskets inside this section here, um, and uh, so you need a 22 on this outer nut, we'll just get it started, then we'll take a 26. Came off easy. Let's back it out. All right. So you notice this washer here um, is it's in decent shape, but we're going to go ahead and replace that. Um, up here, the cam looks really clean and nice. Uh, you want to check for scaling, um, other debris that's on there, any worn parts. Um, and we'll go ahead and set this aside for now and we'll come back to it. So next we'll move up to the top of the group another 22 uh, millimeter right here it comes right off and again that washer is looking pretty worn so we'll go ahead and replace that. Inside you'll, you'll see a lot of machines will have a screen um, here um, it will protect uh, the Jiglier from getting clogged um, and you'll want to give that a good clean. You see all the uh, little sand on there um, and other debris. So give that a good cleaning before we reassemble. And uh, let me see if I can get the other camera here and we'll, we'll take a look down inside. Take a look in there. Um, see the top of the Jiglier that controls the flow rate of water going into the brew group. You want to check to make sure that um, that's not clogged. And for this uh, application we're not going to uh, touch it, we're going to leave it in place. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and take off the um, top here. And this is 36 millimeter. Uh, most machines will be 36. There are some that are not. You know, if you have a, a VBME machine, you'll um, have two uh, hex nuts there that you'll want to back out to take the top off. This, this is spring loaded, so it may pop on you. There it goes. And that's. Uh, this is the group that, uh, or a part that people call the mushroom, uh, just because of. Kind of looks like a mushroom. 
this kind of acts, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but as a, a sacrificial metal um, in the group. Um, so when you see corrosion, this is where it happens often um, first. So if you see a ton of corrosion here, um, it's a good sign that you, it may be happening elsewhere, um, but hopefully it happens here and not elsewhere in the machine. So down inside, we have a spring. We'll pull out. And then the lever and gasket that uh, control the, the brewing. So that spring sits on there. If you notice, uh, um, your group has like a, 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 a sticky point. Um, it, it could be because uh, this is uh, incorrectly seated. It's popped out somehow. So just the act of um, taking it apart and putting it back together might fix your, your problem. Um, or you might see a lot of scale build up. There's a, uh, very little on this machine here. All right, so now we're down on the the exhaust uh, valve of the group group here. We're gonna uh, the very bottom. There's a a cap um, that just directs flow, and it's usually I um, I like to keep them on just finger tight, so you can take them off and clean. You don't really need to torque them on there. Um, and this this other one is going to be um, 26 millimeter, I believe. And again, this is, has a spring pushing against it, so there is a bit of resistance on it. And just um, keep your hands under there to catch uh, the spring and stuff when you take it apart. And it will probably pop when it can get to the there it goes, end of the thread. So um, looks nice and clean in there. Um, not too bad. And lastly, is right at the top. It's going to be a 36 millimeter. And the last part so is full of water. So again, a spring. And this is another area where, if you notice the uh, um, lever when you're actuated it kind of catches could be the spring is out of place um, slightly um, or is uh, got a lot of grime build up on it um, and just a toothbrush and some uh, 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 back flush detergent will um, take off most of uh, any debris on there for you here is the group uh, disassembled There's an old gasket um, on the bottom there that we will have to um, pop off with a hook. It is uh, jammed up in there. And all the parts. So we have a gasket right here um, from the upper brewer group. This uh, um, gasket in here is what makes the seal. Um, and when you lift the brewer group, this part is pushed up by the cam and allows water to flow through. Um, this uh, gasket, you can see the indentation. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Uh, the indentation there, uh, it is probably three or four years, maybe three years old um, and hasn't uh, been changed. So we're going to change that out. To do it, um, uh, there's uh, this uh, square part is, is threaded on. Um, sometimes you can do it with fingers. You may need a wrench there. I got it with a finger. Um, and just keep track of all these little parts. And in there is a washer. And I actually do have a, a smaller screwdriver that's helpful in this case. Um, and you can see it's just like the gasket's overtaking the washer and uh, all right washers off 
And now the tricky part is getting this old uh, old gasket out of the carrier here. Um, you just feel it's brittle. If you have a hook, like a dental hook, um, that's a great uh, application uh, use for it right now. Um, I'm going to go find mine and, and pry that out. So that took a bit of prying, but got it out. And you want to um, see how brittle that is. It's just cracked. Um, time to be replaced. So if you, if you find your, your group is leaking, it's uh, likely that that's going to be the culprit, um, like leaking out of the, the brew head anyways. So we have a new gasket. This simply slides in place. Um, that small washer. And screw it down. Just uh, finger tighten that. So this is the uh, part underneath the brew group that uh, is the exhaust valve. Um, similar situation. Um, we're going to back that part off and that one is not going to come off as easy. It's on there so I'm going to have to find a wrench. Pieces on there. Whew. This one doesn't look quite as uh, worn as the upper, but we're going to go ahead and replace it anyways. And there's a, a small brass washer that um, is in there. Pop that out. And then uh, it's a hook or screwdriver to pry that out. New gasket in. Washer back on. I'm going to go ahead and add a little uh, Dow 111 lubrication um, just as that is a pretty snug fit and I want to be able to get it off easy next time. Dial 111. Right, that goes right back on. Just want to get that finger tight. Perfect. Then the very, very bottom valve, this little tiny guy, again, we have another um, gasket in place that we're going to put a new one in and the same procedure. So I won't show you it again, um, but just back it off, uh, pull the washer off, put a new gasket in, and put it back together. Put a little dial 111 on the, um, the threads uh, so it comes apart easy next time. So next we're just going to pull off all the old uh, gaskets, um, silicone gaskets, or Teflon, excuse me, gaskets, and replace them. So reassembly is as simple as uh, uh, putting it back on in reverse. Um, make sure that uh, when you put the parts back together again, um, just give them a, a little test. Make sure they're they're seated correctly, um, and put your new uh, Teflon washers on. part you gotta really push up while you twist. Um, we're out of the Teflon gaskets on the bottom. They arrived tomorrow so I'm just gonna put it back on for the sake of the video um, to show you how. Um, then we'll take it off and replace it tomorrow. But um, Push up firmly and twist. This might be the most difficult part of the reassembly. 
um, is getting that piece in. I did add a little bit of uh, dial 111 on the threads before off camera. Um, it helps it go on smoothly. And you don't need to over tighten. Um, just makes it difficult to take apart at a future date if you really cinch it on there. So, so I put the uh, mushroom and other parts in some Durgol uh, decalcifier. It works a lot faster than um, vinegar and does a pretty darn good job. About 15 minutes and it should be uh, all cleaned up. So while we wait um, for the decalcifier to work, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tackle the lever part. Um, inside there are two gaskets that we're going to replace and this Teflon washer. So we already loosened that while it was on the machine so it's really easy to take out. Um, there's another spring inside and then the shaft will pull straight through the camshaft and it's off. And then um, the spacer and then if you could see down in here, let's see if we zoom in, there's two gaskets stacked up against each other and we're going to go ahead and pull those out. If you have a hook um, like a dental hook, it works good. Um, needle nose pliers, or if you don't, uh, a thin uh, slotted screwdriver uh, will work as well. So we're going to put uh, two replacement gaskets in there. I'm going to cover them really well with uh, Dow 111 lubricant. Um, this is a common place for leaks um, and if you notice any um, water dripping out of the, the lever group um, it's likely because those two gaskets are getting dried out. Um, so this is how you replace them. So here are two new gaskets. Some Dow 111 and we're just going to go ahead and liberally um, give them a good good coating. Push them back in place, then reverse order to reassemble. I'll wipe the excess off my fingers. Shaft and uh, the cam lever shaft, we're going to go ahead and add a fair amount of um, Dow 111 just right onto the shaft. So it goes in easy. You want to wipe off any excess. Next that spring goes back over top and then screw it together. And that the cam will move back and forth and that's fine. Um, it's designed to do that so don't get worried putting it back together. We will finger tighten and once we get it back on the machine, we're going to uh, add a little torque down with it. Um, lastly, we're going to go ahead and re remove this uh, uh, Teflon gasket and put a new one on. So we're going to reassemble here. Um, you want the, the bulbous part of the, the cam um, to face the front of the machine when you stick it in. And you'll, you'll feel it just kind of pop in. Um, once, you f once it's in, go ahead and just finger tighten um, this in. It may take a couple turns to, to find the, get the threads locked in. 
I've never seen one of these cross threaded but in theory it is possible to cross thread so be careful there it goes if you're facing a lot of resistance uh, don't force it Here we're 26 You don't need to torque this down too tight. Um, those Teflon gaskets uh, work pretty darn good at sealing it up. So we want it in the, the, the neutral position so um, while we finish assembly. So you feel it's all the way down, just go and pop it up. Um, you'll it'll free play until we get the top um, part of the group back installed. Um, so just in that free play position. You can, Take the handle off until we're done. And actually, while I think about it, I want to go ahead and torque up uh, this outer nut, the 22 millimeter. Get not too tight. So the mushroom is back out of the descaler. It's in there for about 15 minutes. Um, I did take a soft um, bristle brush and just gently remove. Uh, any excess that's still on there and then I dropped it in for another minute and uh, it looks pretty clean. Um, we, we took off the o-ring on the bottom as it was uh, uh, flat, um, put a, a new replacement piece on, pops right in. I believe that's a 20 millimeter o-ring if you ever um, need to replace it. Um, then on the top, um, you need to Put the screen back over the jig of the air. It should pop into place. Alright, so the Teflon gasket over the top. Just align it over the screen and finger tighten down. And we'll go ahead and after we get it um, installed on the group, we'll give it a final torque. Okay, so the last bit. Um, the spring goes over the top. This is a part where um, you want to make sure you get it in um, and it shouldn't stand straight up and down. If not, it's not aligned properly. And again, if you um, if your group, once you finish, uh, feels like it, it hangs up uh, at some point, it might be because the spring isn't seated correctly on the top or bottom um, is a common uh, spot. And then the, the mushroom goes up over the top. Push down to compress the spring and then uh, tighten up and I forgot the gasket so <laughs> we would be leaking up a storm so um, there's the gasket Big 36. You want to tighten it just, um, just enough so you um, start crushing the Teflon washer, but not, not too far. So, and lastly, we will torque up um, or tighten down the top piece. And same scenario. You don't need to over tighten. Once we fire it up, um, if we see any leaks, then we can um, tighten down a little bit more to stop any of the leaks. All right, so one last thing to do is to get that uh, lever arm back on. Um, don't forget the star washer goes in there. Um, and I like to put that in, it keeps everything in place. Um, since we know we're in the neutral position, um, Just give it a, a little test, make sure it feels right. It's good and smooth. Um, looks like we did it right. One thing I've seen people do um, 
is uh, push too hard when uh, tightening slotted screwdrivers and slipping off and marring the machine. Um, I think having anything uh, slotted on a machine of any kind is a bad idea. Um, I didn't design it. I'd love to see like a, a hex head screw there um, in its place so you, you don't uh, accidentally mar your machine. But there we go. We'll uh, fire it up and uh, test for leaks and see how it does. We're going to test. We're going to test with a, uh, a blind basket in there, back flushing disc basket. Um, turn it on. And we're going to check for leaks out of uh, out of anywhere. We are leaking out of the the group gasket there. Haven't replaced it yet. It is hard and brittle. And in the next video, we will show you how to replace that. But it works great. I want to check for leaks up here um, along those Teflon gaskets and right here are the common places that a uh, new install will, will leak from. But it looks good. We'll go ahead and let it get all the way up to temp and uh, pull some shots and, and uh, see how it does. But uh, If you have any questions, uh, feel free to email us or give us a call. Um, we are here to help. Alright, thanks so much. Bye-bye.